Hello, everyone. Hi, it's really nice to have you guys here. Um, feel free to put your mics on, your cameras on, so we can see each other. Um, I'll start. I hope you guys can see me. Hey, hi, everybody. I hope you guys can hear me. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Lakshmi, hi. This is Sakshi hi. from Upgrad. First time we're yeah. interacting with each other. I would love to see your faces if everybody can just keep your cameras on uh, for the networking session. Uh, which we'll start at, um, you know, 6.30. It'll be great. Hello, Sanjeev. I've, uh, this is the second time we're meeting in one of the after hours. I don't know if you can hear me. Hi, Sakshi. Hi. I would love for everybody to keep their cameras on. Since you guys have joined in early for the networking session, it would be absolutely great to see each other's faces at this time. Yes, yes. Hello. Hi, Deepa. Hi, hi, Sakshi. How are you? I'm doing absolutely fine. I think this is the first time I'm meeting you too. I've met yes, a couple right. of people here. Um, I think since he gives the girl Faisal, uh, familiar faces. <laughs> okay, I'm meeting you for the first time, right? That's absolutely true. So what do you do? Um, like, what, what do you do on a daily basis? What are the boring parts of your life? Or interesting, depending on what uh, you do. Work from home is the boring part for me. <laughs> no, no, I'm, that... loving, I'm loving to go office and chill and, and the environment matters to me. No, no, absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely agree. I mean, it's uh, difficult to coordinate with people after a point. And uh, I'm just uh, very done with phone calls for the smallest of tasks. So I don't know if everybody resonates with me on that, but yeah. Yes. All right. So we're just going to uh, wait for like, let's say uh, another five minutes before sort of just getting to know each other better and then moving on to the session at seven o'clock. I hope that's okay with everybody. Hello for everybody who's just joined in. We're gonna may wait for till uh, for another like two three minutes before we just sort of get you know get to knowing each other better. Um, and thanks for joining in thirty minutes early to the session for the networking aspect.
Hello, everybody. Hi. Uh, my name is Sakshi. For a lot of you folks, I'm meeting you for the first time. Uh, I am a part of the Uptown alumni team, and uh, I thought I'd meet you guys while we're waiting for the others to join in. And we've got a lot of folks joining in towards the, um, you know, towards, uh, I can see in the waiting room, a lot of people joining in. Uh, we've got about 32 uh, of you guys over here with us. And I'm really glad you guys have decided to join in for the networking session. Uh, I would love for you guys to put your cameras on so we can see each other's faces after a very long day at work. I mean, anybody at all who would like to just put the cameras on and, you know, just say a couple of words, maybe. Just talk about how their day went. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm audible to everybody. Am I audible to everybody? Yes, Sakshi, you are audible. All right, perfect. Uh, so guys, uh, we, what we've decided to do is we usually have a larger event called the Upgrade After Hours, uh, which is a single day networking event. It's typically a 60 minute session uh, where we just let people meet each other, introduce themselves to each other, talk to each other. And this usually happens on a Sunday. The next one is scheduled for the 20th of June. Uh, which is this Sunday from um, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, sorry, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. What we also realize is that a lot of folks like to meet each other right before the uh, rice sessions. And this is the feedback that we had gotten very actively that people would love to see each other who they are attending the sessions with. Uh, we've got 37 odd folks over here. What we're going to do is we're going to just divide this into groups of four. And uh, we'd love for you guys to get into different breakout rooms and talk to each other. Um, it's going to be a very self-moderated session. And we would love for you to either follow a format where you can introduce yourselves, tell people about what, the, what your profession is, what is it that you guys do, and then talk about maybe one ask and one give. Uh, the format is that you can ask people about you know, um, if I want to learn Excel skills, you can ask people in the group if anybody has any good resources, if they're willing to teach you for an hour. Or you can uh, give back something to the community in terms of uh, I could be somebody who helps you with fundraising or, you know, just fundraising hacks because I've done this before in the past. Uh, that's the format we're following. Feel free to like sort of divert completely and do your own thing. Uh, the aim is to just to get to know each other better. Um, and we're going to just divide everybody into teams of 10 and just break out into the room. I hope that's okay with everyone. So we're just going to get to that right away. Folks, you will have to accept the invite to sort of just accept the breakout rooms and you guys can go into that room.
hey folks for everybody who's just joined in i'm going to move you to some other breakout rooms where you can you know talk to more people meet other people who are uh, who are here for the session similar domains is actually do we have the content marketing call now hello Hello. Hey Ashish, I think you've just joined in. Yeah, I've just joined. Sakshi, do we have the content marketing call now? Yes. So that's at seven o'clock sharp. Before that, we're just having oh. a very informal networking session. If you're okay with okay. it, I can quickly shift you to a room where people are just chatting and talking. Or if you prefer, I could just let you be on the main room. Sure. I'll join at seven then. Okay. Thanks. Perfect.
Uh, I understand a lot of you guys have just joined in. I just wanted to let everybody know that there's a networking session happening in the other rooms for the next 15 minutes. Uh, if anybody wants to be a part of it, just let me know and I'll put you in one of the rooms. Hey folks, uh, just wanted to, in case I see a lot of people are joining in right now, I just wanted to let everybody know that uh, there are networking sessions happening in other breakout rooms. If anybody is interested in being a part of those networking sessions, just uh, you could say something in the chat or however you'd like to communicate and I'll just add you to those groups. Let me know if you guys are at all interested in that. Sakshi? Yes, Anubha. Hi. Sakshi, where's the content marketing uh, session going on? Right. So the session starts at 7 o'clock. Uh, if you guys uh, you know, read the communication, it said that uh, the networking session will be at 6.30 to 7. And the content marketing will start at 7 p.m. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank you. So how are we deciding uh, who joins which room? Alik, I'm so sorry, I can't quite hear you. Here. So, so you know, how, how are we deciding who joins which room? So if you want to be a part of it, randomly put you in one of the groups. Uh, all of you guys are from the same domain. Uh, so if you'd like, I can just do it right now. We've got like five minutes to go. Yes, yes, yes I am interested in joining as well. All right, perfect. I will just do that. Ma'am, is this uh, is this a recorded session? Yes, this is a recorded session. Yeah, sure. Uh, just give me a second. Uh, gonna get used to this. Uh, as you can imagine, not Apple. We use a different system, so sure. just making sure. Can you all hear me? All right, loud and clear. Yeah, we can hear you clearly. Okay, perfect. And let me see, how many people do we have today? Well, we have around 55 people as of now. I think we can start and uh, other people can join in side by side. Okay. Are we expecting more? How many are we yes. expecting in total? We're expecting around 100 people to join in. We have already... Okay. Let's, 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 let's give it a minute. No, probably not be fair for people who expect sure. to start at 7. That so works. Let's give it, let, let be 7. Absolutely. And guys, uh, this is a meeting format would be great uh, if we can uh, mute ourselves uh, because a lot of disturbances are uh, there. So yeah, thank you so much. Do I have uh, the option to um, mute the screen? Yeah, okay. Uh, Can you guys hear me?
Hey, can you guys hear me? Yes, yes, yes. We can hear you. Sorry, go on a second. Give me one second. That's seems to be some issue when I share my audio for uh, waiting for the initial hurdles and, and hanging on in here. Uh, absolutely excited to be uh, talking to you today. Uh, let's, and Nikhil tells me this is going to be an interactive session. So, so please feel free to unmute, uh, to turn on your videos. I mean, I'd love to see uh, your videos. Don't, don't, don't be shy at all uh, and ask your questions. Let's make this fun and interactive session. We have about an hour with us. So let's get started. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about uh, building a content marketing strategy uh, for Amazon Associates. Um, and this is part one of two series. We're going to be doing the second one on Saturday. Uh, so before I dive in, thank you, Nikhil, for giving my brief introduction. Um, I, I'd like to talk a little bit about it myself. So just that those of you who are hearing from me for the first time, uh, a little bit about my background. So uh, before, I mean, I lead two lives. Uh, before my MBA was a hardcore technology geek life. Uh, but post my MBA is, uh, I started my journey first with a company called L'Oreal. Uh, did an internship with them. Absolutely amazing opportunity to uh, understand the roots of how the beauty industry works. Very, very similar to FMCG, uh, but at the same time, highly complex, very, very different customer um, and really going deep into customer insights there. Uh, then I did a uh, first full-time job was in Vodafone, uh, which is now we. Amazing, amazing ride there. Uh, spent a lot of time through sales, uh, business development, account management, uh, consumer enterprise, and then finally landed uh, myself into their brand marketing team, where I was doing uh, product marketing for the consumer product portfolio. Uh, amazing ride. These, these were the Zuzu days. So I got to see a lot of cool campaigns, a lot of fun things out there. Uh, from there, I joined this uh, rocket of a company called Flipkart. Uh, when I joined them, they had just started really, really defining growth in India. Uh, so again, very fortunate to be in the right place at the right time and learn uh, the brick and mortar of e-commerce, uh, the foundation and basis out there. I uh, spent time there again, uh, completely looking at how the Indian landscape transformed from just shopping online to selling online, understanding everything online. Uh, and that's when I, uh, my career took a global stage uh, with Amazon. I was part of the Amazon global team in their advertising division. Uh, and a part of that work is what we will be discussing today. Uh, again, very, very amazing time. Uh, I had nothing to do with shopping, nothing to do with Amazon India, uh, purely global role, looking at the product portfolio across different markets in the world, uh, talking to B2B customers, uh, seeing how the ad industry plays out and how basically the associate marketing works. And then I found myself in this uh, little little company called Apple. Uh, again, just completed three years of Apple uh, about just about three, four days back um, and extremely, extremely fortunate to be here. Uh, there is no company in the world uh, like, I can, like Apple, I can tell you that. <clears throat> uh, they, are, they are the gods of marketing and every day at office, I feel like a child uh, learning something new uh, just in awe of the sheer amount of creativity and inspiration that surrounds me. Uh, so, uh, so yes, uh, nothing about Apple today, but a few pointers before we begin and dive in. Uh, first of all, please, like I said, be open, be free, uh, ask any questions you'd like to uh, talk me wherever you think. So uh, interrupt, go crazy. Uh, the stage is equally yours as it is mine. Ask anything, anytime. Uh, I literally mean it. Uh, just don't ask me about the next iPhone. Uh, now I, I know nothing about it. Uh, and I'm not here to represent Apple. I'm here to represent myself. And again, I'm just doing this to help you guys out. Um, and again, like I said, please be patient with technical issues. Um, uh, I am in Gurgaon right now. That if the past few days are to go by, then there have been some crazy storms around here. And if that happens, then my power might just go out. So please bear with me. Uh, the backup usually takes about a couple of minutes to come back in. Cool. Uh, with, with that, uh, sorry, are you guys seeing something? Uh, I see some chats, black band. Okay. 
let me sort that out okay just give me one second sorry about that i didn't think you guys would be seeing that is that better now yes yes it's fine okay sorry guys <laughs> Again, getting familiar with Zoom. Uh, we usually use Apple internal tools at work, so not not very familiar. With it. Apologies for that. Okay, let's get started, guys. Uh, so, what are we here for? Uh, we are here for uh, a program called as the Amazon Associates program. Uh, you know, so not many people know about this. Even I didn't know uh, much about this until the interview call came to me. Uh, and that's when I googled it, and I realized like really how big it is. Uh, it is it is the world's largest affiliate marketing program, um, and and you know each word is very important in this, and I'll explain later. Uh, it is one of the oldest programs where uh, the way it works is anyone on the internet, absolutely anybody and everybody, even you and I, can create content. Or just create some links to products on Amazon, uh, and just when somebody clicks on that links and makes a purchase uh, off Amazon's website, uh, then that person. So obviously Amazon makes a certain commission out of it, right? Like X percentage of that sale. But because you led to that sale happening on Amazon, uh, because of that you get a certain margin as an Amazon affiliate. So it's a great way to make money. Uh, in fact, I would. I encourage if some of you have the time at your hands. I don't, unfortunately. Uh, you can easily, easily set up an account yourself and start earning money sitting at home with, with very little effort. So amazing, amazing opportunity. And it's very old. Uh, it is. It's the first program was set up in 1996. Uh, nobody knows how many active. Uh, I mean, obviously, I know I can't share with you, but. Uh, there are at least hundred thousand plus registered Amazon associates in the internet, uh, and there are a lot more. I can't give you the exact number, but there are many, many, many out there. That's the size and scale of it. Uh, but obviously, just like any industry, there is a head end and there is a tail end. Uh, so that means that there are small publishers, and please notice the word I uh, use: publishers. And I'll use that word a lot going forward. Publishers are nothing but associates slash affiliates slash content creators. These are words chose uh, used interchangeably. Uh, there are small, um, and and I'll give you examples as well. There are some medium publishers, and then there are the really really large powerhouses of content that actually revolve their business around it. Uh, a small publisher could be as small as the you know, size of one person. Literally, like I said, somebody sitting at home doing this out of passion, creating their own personal blog, and making some money out of it. A medium person will have probably a one or two member team, maybe even a five to ten member team. But a large publisher typically even has an entire company dedicated to this business, and they make tons, even sometimes millions of dollars around this. Uh, so you know, you'd be surprised. You don't know uh, most of the websites, most of the websites which have product linkages to them and that you see on the internet. These are just some examples. Uh, you know, wherever you see the word deals. Uh, Wherever you see the word reviews, like people love reviewing products. Now, obviously, you know, reviewing something takes time and effort. When they put that time and energy into something, they they obviously do it for making some money out of it. So, so think of some of the most famous blogs that you go to uh, randomly, not just from you know the tech industry, but even like you know baby clothing, uh, shoes for children, games, books, any product that you can buy on Amazon, there is an affiliate writing content around it. To help you make a buying decision, um, and these are some of the examples that you could see from small publishers, and then there are big ones. Uh, you know, you'd be amazed. Some of the big YouTubers are also uh, big, big, big Amazon affiliates. So, like, you know, again, some of the big ones that you see down there actually make you know tons, tens, and millions of dollars just on Amazon because people click on their uh, reviews. So, so this is what the uh, you know small and medium size looks like. Then there are really large ones, uh, and some of your favorite. Online magazines, uh, the Words, New Yorker. These are just sample examples. These are people who who have dedicated offices. They have media writers. They have content creators. They have affiliate specialists in their teams. They have technology uh, specialists. So they have entire industries built around this uh, this concept, and they make uh, they make a ton of obviously ton of money out of this, but also help uh, a lot of customers make buying decisions online. So that's a little bit about. The publisher program. Now, uh, why Amazon? 
uh, first of all, it is the world's largest marketplace. Period. Uh, there is no other website in the world uh, which uh, forget even website like any any you know even like a retail space in the world that beats Amazon. The size and scale that Amazon has around the world, there is nothing else that comes close by. Uh, and also, Amazon is a data powerhouse. Uh, it because there are so many people coming on and registering on the Amazon platform. They also learn about customer behavior. Uh, data is everything in today's world, so they understand how people browse for products. What are their interests in? What are the likely trends like? Like think of it as an example: uh, winter is coming, or 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 rains are coming soon. Uh, people are interested in buying raincoats or umbrellas, and they're searching for Amazon. So Amazon is the first place that people know, even before Google, about what is it that you might spend your hard-earned money on. And once they know that, they can also supply that information. Obviously, keeping privacy values in place to other associates or content creators. That hey guys, uh, the rain season is coming on. Maybe you can do an article about the most trendy umbrellas out there, or the most trendy raincoats that somebody can buy in, in Bombay monsoon, for example, right? And those are the kind of insights that really help drive content stories uh, in the digital space. Uh, Okay, uh, next would be, hey, Nikhil, you gotta excuse me for one second, okay? Just give me one second. Hey guys, sorry, I got a very important call from work, which I had to take uh, my humble apologies. Can you guys hear me and see my screen again? Okay, perfect. Cool, uh, moving back. So yes, I, I spoke about these, Why? what makes Amazon so important and so lucrative for these guys, right? Uh, now, now this is, this is a fairly complex, uh, product, if I can say, right? And just to take you through what it is to, to help you build through this, this exercise better, um, I thought I'd share with you the actual experience what it's like when you sign in. Uh, so once somebody becomes an Amazon associate, think of it, everything is dependent on a link. Remember I told you that, uh, in fact, next time when you're shopping through a review website and you click on that link, go to your browser and see the URL. You'll actually see uh, a certain tag ID and a question mark. Whenever that happens, you're actually paying somebody money, a part of your money, uh, because they, they link you to a product on Amazon, right? So the different type of products in the Amazon Associates world. Obviously, the simplest ones are product links. Uh, and you can see that highlighted here, uh, where I put the drop down. Uh, then somebody can even create banners. So you see these banners, buy this product now, offer from Prime members, so on and so forth. And then there are technologies which are something called as native shopping ads, something I personally worked on a lot. Uh, those are for people who can just provide a code on their website and Amazon's code actually sees what is being spoken about on that page and show relevant results. So let's say if somebody talking about an iPhone, they will show iPhone cases and covers. If somebody's talking about, let's say a Samsung, then they'll show different case covers. So it is very intelligent and dynamically adapts to the content on the page. Similarly, the other tools. So just to give you a very brief example, how one creates, and again, this is important because now you're getting into what an associate journey looks like. So, you know, you can uh, search for any product out here. Uh, I see a ton of queries on how to create an account. I, I believe you guys should just search on Google or YouTube. There are tons of tutorials out there. It's fairly simple. In fact, you can go to Amazon Associates website for India and create an account yourself um, as well. Post this call whenever you would like out of curiosity. 
So, so you can just search for the products that you're trying to link. And you can see that once you search, just like the Amazon search result, you will see those results coming in this dashboard. And you can see the current price of that product and click on get link. Uh, if you see that get link on the bottom right hand side, then this is what appears. So as let's say you have a WordPress blog or you actually have old technology, you just have to copy this URL and paste it in the, in the code that you have. Uh, and you know, uh, some, some blog websites like WordPress and others don't even require to you to know coding at all. You can just put this as a uh, simple control C control V and you will see this automatically create a link out there. And you can see there's the tag ID with my name onto it. That means my commission is going to be built whenever you click the link uh, on this as well. Okay, so, and this is what I was speaking about to you earlier, uh, native shopping ads. Again, uh, this is a screenshot of the portal internally where once you sign up, you can see how these work. As you can see from the image right there, uh, you know, they populate uh, basis the content, which is around that ad unit. Uh, that particular widget is called an ad unit and it's an adaptive one. So if somebody is browsing from their phone, tablet or a PC, it changes shape and size. Then there are certain other ones like mobile popover. You would have seen sometimes you're browsing website, something pops up from the bottom. Uh, that's also an affiliate URL. So, so you'd be surprised how many things exist out there where you're giving money to somebody you didn't even know you're doing that, right? Uh, you can link to other pages as well and do multiple other things. Now, um, this is what it looks like. So remember I spoke about Verge earlier. Verge early. So every single article that you know, they link, and I'm not saying Verge does it only for Amazon, they do it for multiple, and that's how publishing houses make money. Uh, Amazon is just one affiliate channel partner. There are many out there. Amazon is the biggest and the oldest, but the other competition is also very, very aggressive. So, so if you see the article, you see this Apple iPhone 12, that, that's an underline, right? Like the moment you click on it, you'll go to a place where you can buy it and they get a commission out of it. Similarly, uh, you know, as you scroll down the page, you would have seen these live prices, you know, X799 at Apple, 799 Best Buy, sometimes the prices are different if there's discount running by. These are all live prices that are fed by Amazon or that supplier. And basically you, uh, you uh, when you click on it, you go to that particular uh, publisher's website. Okay, I hope this is loud and clear. Uh, if no further questions, then I can move forward. So now, now you understand very, very quickly, and I know it's, it's a little tough to understand, but very quickly, this is a very unique challenge, right? Like this is not a consumer problem. This is not really typically enterprise problem. This is basically a B2B business uh, problem area. So in, in the context of today's discussion, uh, what are the key statements that I went in, you know, I personally faced as a challenge before creating a content marketing strategy at Amazon? Uh, number one, acquire and grow the associate base for Amazon. So, you know, we were at about 100,000 plus already. Uh, we had to grow to X number. Uh, that was simply a task given to me. And that was a big focus on acquisition. The other was, because there is a huge base, you can't just like, you know, stop talking to them because they are the ones who are driving money for us. Every sale they make gets money to Amazon, right? So, and I had to make sure that they understand the product and they're using more products, like, you know, not just links, they're using banners, they're using native ship shopping ads. So the more they end up using, the more business opportunity it is for Amazon. So I had two problem statements, acquisition and engagement, right? Uh, that's what we will cover in two sessions. Uh, I want to focus today on acquisition, uh, how, uh, you know, how I went about it, what did I build around it? And obviously, uh, even after I left Amazon, it continues and how they've been going so far. So um, I thought instead of just giving you you know, a spoon on a platter, uh, you know, how I did it. I thought, let's make it fun and engaging. I'd love to hear you, see you, engage with you on Q and A's. Uh, so I thought, let's start with a few questions. Uh, and, and the first question, uh, rather the only question I have for you is, you tell me if you were in my place and you had to ask the team, which is the Amazon Associates team around you, that team includes business owners, product managers, engineering, you know, how would, what questions would you ask, especially now that you've graduated to the UpGuard program, what would you ask before building your strategy? Like, you know, and this will really help you sharpen your basics, whatever you've learned in the course. Uh, what, how do you assimilate information before chalking out a plan together? Uh, so I'm going to take the back seat now and let the debate go on for the next uh, four to five minutes. Does that sound good? Nikhil, do you want to moderate this if we can get some people out? 
Chorapur. I can actually stop sharing uh, if that helps. So do you, uh, do you want me to divide them into rooms or? No, no, not even rooms. Like anybody maybe can raise a hand, come in and whoever yeah, like wants uh, to speak. They, they have the access to uh, switch on their camera and mics and speak directly. Okay, cool. I'll go on mute. Whoever wants to go first, uh, please go ahead. Sure. What would I guess one of the first uh, questions you would probably ask uh, would be is to understand uh, what the KPIs are, uh, what are the goals to be achieved uh, that you're setting out. So uh, along with the problem statement, you will be clearer as to what you need to achieve so that you can apply your strategy accordingly. That's a good one, Chris. And um, uh, I think that's a very important one. And what you're trying to say is how do we define success, right? Uh, very important that's point. Uh, uh, also encourage all of you to think a little bit ahead. Like, you know, success, absolutely, yes. But what are the basics? Like, you know, how do you, how do you define, especially like think of my situation. I was absolutely new. I came from a consumer marketing background, had no idea about B2B. Uh, this was a global role. Uh, you saw most of those tools were for the Americans and the Europeans, like dollars, euros. Like, how would you start understanding their world? Like, like, like think a little better. And yeah, please, please don't don't put pop questions in the chat box. I want you to speak like like Rasan did. Uh, let's let's make it interactive. I guess understanding your PG better would be another thing. As in, what would their day comprise? What would be a typical the pen profile of the kind of people that you are trying to influence to get your goals? And also understanding uh, their problem areas. That's a good one. Absolutely, yes, absolutely. So uh, uh, I think what Prasant tried to say is understand understand the customer, right? Uh, that's the core yeah. number one step of every every consumer, every marketing problem. Very important. Uh, how how would you guys go about doing that? Anybody else like to pitch in? How do you think you can understand them better? Uh, what do you think might be the sources that you would have tapped in that situation? A panel discussion, a depth interview would be one of the things I would look for my limited point of view. Okay, anybody else? I'm going to give out prizes to anybody who speaks uh, uh, apart from Chris Tan now. <laughs> Hi, Apu. Hey, Anubha. Hi. So I'd like to ask you a question. So you asked, uh, you actually mentioned about the question mark uh, in the, this thing. I'm, I'm from sales background. I really didn't know uh, the sales, uh, the question mark that you mentioned, right? So what is that about? The question mark in the URL or something you mentioned, right? Uh, sure, mm. sure. That's a, sure, that's a little off topic, Anubha, but I can tell you basically what I meant is when you're browsing the website, what I said is uh, sometimes you, do, you just click on a link and you end up buying a product, right? You don't really see the URL you're on. The next time you actually click a link, let's say you're on a YouTube video of a review, you click on a link there that buy this product now. When you land on Amazon website, go and see the URL. You will actually see the name of that reviewer, whoever it is you clicked on, because they're making money off your purchase on Amazon. That's what I meant by that. Um, I, I think one area where affiliates is always unique is it's a CPS model, right? So. Uh, the commercial construct, getting that completely ironed out and flushed out with with your with your publishers, that is absolutely one key pain point, perhaps. Yep. Because yep. you know how how at the end of the day, how, how... first question that I might I might look to ask them because uh, am I going to be monetized on the basis of clicks, or am I going to be monetized on the basis of what it is that I'm going to deliver? Uh, so is it how and how exactly that percentage split happens in terms of, uh, you know, in terms of that that reward risk sharing, and that also goes to build trust with, you know, with that publisher, and that is really where, and perhaps one way to do that maybe to you probably I think you might have done that you know conduct a workshop with, with your at least with your top accounts and then you know bring the bring them all together and then draw out a you know sort of like a broad agenda based on that, 
And then further to that is where you will get into, uh, you know, you, you will kind of absolutely thrash out those KPIs, which, which would indicate how success looks like. That will set the tone for consolidating and then scaling up from that. So I, I, that, that yeah. would be my initial thoughts. Uh, yeah, I think I would also... Uh, I would also look at some numbers. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I would also look at some numbers which are available from primary as well as your own data uh, to try and see, you know, the derive a story out of it. Like, what are the lowest hanging fruits in terms of even the associates or the publishers? What are the uh, possible, you know, buckets that I can tap which have not been tapped before? A little bit of data, uh, you know, understanding the story from numbers would help. Yeah, that's a good point. So I hear we can just time talk about a couple of things. One is a very important point that we called out is demystifying the product, right? The opportunity. Uh, this is a highly commercial engagement, uh, but at the same time, it's it's commercial yet also very technically complex. Um, and and you know, Prasan uh, spoke about going into numbers. So uh, a lot of our publishers, we had a pool of publishers already coming in and signing up. So. You know, not everybody we could assume that might or might not be familiar with the way it works. So where is the hidden opportunity? Where can we educate? So demystifying education, uh, absolutely uh, agreed. Uh, what about marketing channels, guys? Uh, very interesting segment of customer base, right? Uh, you know, how would you think, which, how would you identify the marketing channels and how would you, uh, you know, which, how do you evaluate which is the most effective one to reach such an audience? Hi, Samir here. Hey, Samir. Hi. Uh, uh, two things, according to me, it's uh, very critical when you're when you're trying to understand the consumer base, when you're new and when you're trying to implement some strategy, get your KPIs done. One is consumer habits. And second is very critical is that what is that need is there in that particular uh, area? And these two factors uh, drive probably the entire strategy uh, to... Uh, the entire plan. Sure, sure, makes sense. Who wants to go next? Anything on the marketing channels? Do you think we could do the typical marketing channels for this an audience? Uh, or do you think something else, something special might be more effective here? Uh, hello? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. So, uh, you know, the KPIs, ROIs, marketing channels, that that is okay, one thing. Uh, as an associate or as an affiliate, right? You search research about the product. Like I, I am from a very different background and I'm, I don't know anything about this industry and I just have to start with it. As an affiliate or an associate, I have no clue what exactly what I'll be doing, right? I just have to research about the product. I have to use that product, enjoy it, and then, you know, uh, review it. I think that's the defined process, right? So, you know, while in this research and uh, experience and then posting about it, uh, is Amazon or, you know, whatever brand we, we are an affiliate for, they are funding the process or we, we are doing it by ourselves? Uh, didn't quite get your question. You mean in terms of, what do you mean by funding the process? As in, I, I want to use something. So I have to purchase it, right? No, there's no purchasing involved in this. This is a free tool available to anybody out there. Okay, so without actually experiencing it, you are going about it. Is it like that? Uh, no, you are more than welcome to experience it. Like the, the, the products which are available online, you can just sign up and get access to them and try it on your own website and see how they work for you. Virtual experience, okay. Apurva, uh, direct selling will help. Uh, you know, that's probably uh, one of the tools uh, can be used for market uh, channels, marketing channels. Yes, 
Of course, so direct selling, like you rightly said, is a very important one here. Uh, you remember the small, medium, large yeah. slide I showed you guys? For the large customer, now remember there are 100,000 people, right? Like you can't have 100,000 Amazon employees using out everyone, um, which is where I'm encouraging you guys to think deeper on how you'll reach out to the small audience, how you'll reach out to the medium audience, how you reach out to the large one. Uh, direct selling is a great tool to reach out to the large ones because there are only about 50 odd accounts, right? 50 or big companies that drive a large revenue. For them, we can have about 10 account managers in sales, uh, which were exist existed in Amazon, who were working with me directly to reach out to those accounts. So great point. Uh, but remember, marketing works at scale. So how can you really talk to the ones you can't talk to in face-to-face, -face, right? So which are the, the long tail ones? the small to medium ones, how would you go about them? I so guess an email, uh, email a nurturing campaign, uh, email through email marketing directly, uh, you know, I mean, and observing the numbers would help. A whole content strategy yep. around nurturing, you know, through email, because that's the only way you can reach a mass audience. Uh, I mean, if you go granular level and just see the kinds of cohorts you form, have, there could be a different strategy for each cohort. Absolutely, spot on. Uh, I, I, I think just to help you extend that point further, uh, what you mean through email is email and other uh, direct marketing channels. Yes, yes, that. absolutely, yes. So, so, so. Let me jump right back in and uh, since we've had enough points now, anybody else wants to make any point before I start sharing again? Uh, yes, Apoor, I think, uh, you know, uh, things like Google ads or Facebook ads also in local languages, you know, uh, that could be a factor, uh, especially in India when you are targeting uh, a particular region. Uh, then uh, these days, uh, the pandemic has shown that many uh, uh, people, many new uh, uh, people have uh, started using internet, you know, so the local language uh, part could be a uh, 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 way of reaching to new audiences. Yeah, Saurabh, I think that's an excellent point and I do have a slide on that. Now, remember, uh, we are talking about a global program. Amazon Associates is available in every single country Amazon exists in. So for them, localization is not just about different languages in India, but different languages around the world. So absolutely spot on. Uh, it's also about building a connect to different geographies, different countries, different languages. Uh, to your first point about Facebook, Google ads, uh, I, I, I suspect you can imagine being Amazon, uh, we're not a big fan of Google and Facebook <laughs> because they were competition and uh, uh, Amazon has a pretty intense coverage itself. So. I'll talk more about it in, in the slides I share, but but yes, uh, good point there. I think an, a reward and recognition program would also help in terms of uh, kind of, uh, you know, building esteem among the club, I mean, of different people. If you can incentivize them, that could be very, that would be probably one of the things you guys use. Yeah, so I'll, I'll twist that around a little bit. Uh, I, I won't say incentivize, since this is not like something, uh, it's not a club. Right, like it's not somewhere like you enroll and like you know you uh, it's it, they're making money off us right at, at the end of the day. Uh, but we did something similar. Instead of creating uh, incentivizing, we created influencers, yes, people yes. who inspire so others thing, to join in. Go on, Puneet. Yeah, one Im important thing that we are missing out is that that a typical Amazon uh, associate will not be just working for Amazon only. He would be linked, uh, he would be working for various other portals as well. So he, he would be keen to understand how to maximize his uh, particular uh, warning. So what kind of support uh, Amazon can give him more. Absolutely. So, so that he's, uh, he's, yeah. And so that, uh, so that will increase his particular focus uh, towards Amazon. Perfect. I think Puni brought out beautifully the point that I was looking for is, uh, remember these guys are like, they have no loyalty with you. At the same time, you need them the same amount they need you, right? So if you're able to build that relationship with them and it keeps growing, 
if you're able to clearly identify what's in it for me, for them with Amazon and educate them, how can you grow your business? How can you? So that's where all the content starts coming in. Like, you know, educating them, empowering them and making them understand this is what Amazon brings to the table. Here's what you should do. Then they start liking you. And they, remember that they have one page. On that page, they can link to Amazon or they can link to other parties. And it's very easy for them. It's a two second job to change the code. So you have to be constantly inspiring them and innovating ways around just making sure that they're making more and more money. Make them rich so that you keep getting richer in the process. So great point, Puni. Thank you for that. Anybody else? I'm going to give it another minute because then we'll uh, just to keep about 20 minutes to go for the rest of the day. Uh, how about actually WhatsApp uh, messaging? Hey, that's a good one, Ganesh. Smart one. Uh, uh, we did side try something. I'll tell you more about it uh, on WhatsApp. Uh, extremely, extremely useful. Uh, not just in India, but in other markets. Uh, and and uh, we didn't adopt WhatsApp directly to reach out to people. Uh, but what we did was we actually created content which was shareable on WhatsApp by the sales teams. Remember what I told you that those are these account managers who are managing the big client and always on the lookout for more. They would keep coming to me for everything. Like, Apu, give me content on this, give me on that. I made very crisp 30 second shareable videos, PDF files, success stories, case studies that would just go to them on WhatsApp as a monthly digest and they can just pass it around to their groups and get more people to sign up. So great point. Hey, uh, Ishwarya, this time. Hey, Ashwarya. Uh, I wanted to know once I tried to make an account for the Amazon affiliate program, but they were asking for the uh, number of followers. I think I had very few, less than 500. So I was unable to form my account. So particularly how many followers or how many set of people we require to, you know, just to make and be a part of the affiliate program. Yeah, uh, Ashar, I'm sorry. I don't represent Amazon today on this call. So I can't answer that question. It's best you reach out to them uh, on that statistics. However, I can tell you, I don't think you're talking about the associate program because that's open to everybody and everybody. Uh, I think you might have tried to enroll yourself in the influencer program yeah. where you are. a Yes, so obviously. So you need to be a celebrity, right? To okay. have a certain follower. Oh. Uh, but for the associate, uh, mm -hmm. because for celebrities and influencers, mm -hmm. they give you personal stories. And I have a video on that I can show you. Oh. Uh, but for associates, you don't need followers. You just need your own website. Oh. Cool. Okay. In the interest of time, I'm going to now jump back into the presentation. Uh, again, hopefully you guys see it. You can pull back my chat window. Okay. Uh, just give me a thumbs up, anybody, who, if you guys can see everything. Okay, cool. So now that you know, so this is this is the question that I asked. Okay, uh, first and foremost, who is my target audience? Right. I mean, I I knew I've seen website, but really, who is it? And you guys covered this when we were speaking. Uh, are these are these small people? Uh, are they on my platform or not? Where are they? Like just understanding where they are, who they are, what do they look like? What, how old are they? What do they like? You know, what websites do they visit? Just understand before I build any media strategy, before I start buying Google, Facebook ads, like I need to understand what am I talking to, right? And that's, that's the number one question that I started personally with. Uh, number two, uh, how can I reach out to them? Now that I know who they are, what are the marketing channels available to me? And, you know, we discussed this at length and I have some examples that I will talk to you today in detail as well. A uh, very important point we discussed, what am I bringing to the table? What is my as Amazon? It doesn't matter. I'm like a 30 year old brand. I'm here, the oldest affiliate program. But what is it that makes me so important even today? That's the very important question to ask. And finally, once I have you, I have your attention. How can I educate you? How can I empower you to create your own affiliate marketing channel with Amazon? Because it being such a complex task in itself, right? So now these are at the back of my pocket. I have all these learnings. Uh, so I'll tell you what, what typically came out of it. So, sorry, can all of you go on mute, please? Okay, thank you. So, uh, 
first of all uh don't forget that amazon has a really really big publisher database uh, we we knew that time not only the people who had signed up with us like another 100000 plus people we also knew people that are there on competition uh, the account managers the sales team who were there on the ground they knew somebody they were trying to chase so everybody had links and contacts already plus the small publishers were constantly coming to amazon websites hundreds and thousands every day just like you know so many of you will go after this call today and google how to earn money on amazon affiliate program so many people were coming every day and just signing up and just curiosity like it obviously there was a huge drop out because nobody like nobody like it wasn't very easy to understand at the first go but there were still a lot of people filtering through the process and signing up and those were my key uh, marketing target audiences now which are the marketing channels that i worked on uh, absolutely yes very important direct marketing channels like email crm my sales and account managers uh, email was the single biggest tool content marketing tool for me in that role uh, because it is a business related relationship it is a money related relationship people make money with amazon our email click through rates like people actually opening and clicking through are more than 25% in the normal world it's less than 2% for any other industry right that's how important email was because people's livelihoods depended on amazon affiliate program crm once people signed up then even if they're not active i can reach out through the apps through their dashboards so these small small things were extremely powerful and then finally my feet on street these were my guardian angels on ground my sales and account managers and that's where we did things like engaging on whatsapp creating these ready made emailers and that's also content marketing for us so as marketing we would create emailers that they can send out to their entire base and reach out so many many things that enable sales to do well uh, were something that we involved in the direct marketing channels then the world favorite is social media and our own website you'd be amazed to see how many people were coming on to our website to learn about amazon associate right and like the consumer marketing channels where people just go and browse here content marketing is at the core because we they are actually engaging in content and you'll see some beautiful examples of the work we did later okay now coming to direct marketing channels are uh, some tips that work for me and like to tell you i don't want to spend time taking you through all everything in detail that take about 4 to 6 hours but keep it simple remember i told you even on whatsapp make it sure that even if it's a video that 30 second video your point is made in the first 10 seconds so you start your video by saying earn commissions on amazon by this so words that you know ring bells in people's ears like make money earn things like that start early when you start creating content start these hot words early in in the time uh, then have a very clear call to action make sure people have a place to come to this is not like an e-commerce site where you can just say buy this buy that here people actually have to come register themselves build a code go to their website it's so involved so have sure make sure that you have a very simple page and people know what to do and that also involves very easy to understand steps because this requires more than one step to register make sure you lay it out very clearly in your emails in your landing pages wherever you're doing it make sure you're talking as a human and not as a robot to uh, the end customers that you're talking to any questions on this before i move to the uh, other indirect uh, channels okay so now i'm going to take you through some examples about what we did and amazon continues to do uh, even today uh, extremely important to have social media channels you know some some of the things that i questioned when i joined that team was you know this is a b2b thing like who comes on social media man like you know consumers come on social right not b2b people but you'd be surprised remember what i said the first step understanding your customer most of these people are actually normal people like you and me who don't have businesses and they actually spend time on social so even when they're browsing in their personal time if you connect with them at a business level the way to make them money they're still able to completely get associated with your marketing channel and which is why social played a very important part uh, 
we created a completely new youtube channel from scratch video was extremely powerful in this remember because the product is so complex the more complex something is you need to have more uh, content simple content in explaining it and nothing is more simple than animated videos people humans talking in videos so we did a lot of research on what type of videos we should make uh, including the one that i'll show you uh, which was to invite people and register on the amazon associate sites uh, i'm going to play this video hopefully you can hear it uh, if you don't hear the sound please please stop me and i'll, I'll figure it out you got the drive you have the web traffic it's time to monetize amazon associates program one of the largest affiliate marketing programs in the world helps content creators publishers and bloggers people like you monetize their website traffic once you sign up you have access to easy to use tools that let you share products and available programs on amazon with your audience through customized links Get access to millions of offerings on Amazon worldwide so you can promote the products and services you love. Services like Prime, Audible, and Music. You'll quickly be able to build links to your recommendations and start earning with qualified purchases across the globe. This is for savvy, ambitious, creative people. People like you who are ready to earn. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for the Amazon Associates program today. So I'm going to take a break there and and just uh, 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 you know tell you. So this is an excellent example of how a video is made for a business yet a consumer lens, right? You saw it was all animated. Things were simple. It was visual. There was no big words. There was no numbers, right? Like a typical enterprise video that you're seeing. And this is an excellent content marketing example because you saw some key words coming in often: earn, creative. Uh, simple register now amazon do this so so these keywords can get a merit back of the customer's mind and also make sure that as a content marketer you are reusing these keywords on the landing pages and not just so don't make a video separately than a landing page think of the customer as an entire journey and reinforce these values as you go along the way uh, you know I, i'm going to also extremely happy to share a call out on the comment section about community uh yes yes absolutely yes uh you know that's something that we will cover in saturday session about engagement you know these guys build a community themselves and i'll talk on saturday about how uh, we basically enable these people uh to talk to each other learn from each other and share within each other and enable the entire community to grow so that's something that please watch out for on saturday okay going to the next slide so <coughs> we guys covered this when you're we talking earlier <coughs> sorry uh we made sure that this video was localized in all languages possible because amazon associates is covered around the world it was separately promoted to different markets and made it relatable we just did not assume english is something that's going to go work even the titles you can see like you know india join amazon associates europe europe singapore japan china everything that you could think of we made sure that these things were there to build a strong customer connect and truly make the perception of the amazon associates program global again a uh, very important content marketing to create an association with the local customer all right now uh, the next video i'm going to talk about is uh, just a glimpse into what we'll cover on saturday as well so we didn't just invite people uh, remember one of you spoke about educating them uh, and i covered educating and empowering this will show you how we taught it so a very complex product to them a technical product in the most simplest ways again animated i love animated videos because they need to perceive and understand the visual languages and in fact the colors that you see are also very important point from a content marketer the color should be soft to the eyes you know you can't have stark colors so just make it relatable and lovable uh, and this video was just to give them an intro of how one of the products works so we make sure that it it doesn't scare them welcomes them and once they're in we start 
tuning up the complexity of the communication when they're outside when they haven't registered keep it simple but once they're in start getting more and more technical so that you make sure that they're successful right so this is one of the ones that we had available on the outside Hey Amazon associates, Mobile Getlink lets creative, active people like you share your product recommendations on the go because you shouldn't have to wait to be at your desktop to connect with your audience. Mobile Getlink is a time-saving solution that lets you quickly recommend products from your mobile phone, helping to keep your audience engaged while boosting your earnings opportunities. Getting started is simple. Log into the Amazon shopping app with the same credentials attached to your associate's account. Then navigate to the product page you want to share and click the share icon. Then select your store ID and any relevant tracking ID that you're using. Next, click copy associate's link. You will then get a short URL with your associate's tags built in, which is ready to share. In your social media app of choice, you can paste your product link into your content or into a comment. Mobile Getlink lets you monetize your recommendations with greater flexibility, allowing you to create links whenever, wherever. So get started today. So, so a couple of things that you would have seen that video. I just want to call out. Uh, number one lesson is you saw how we made the video almost like we were talking to a baby. I keep repeating this. Most of the audience who we were actually promoting that video to didn't really understand the associate world. They were just people like you and me. So just not to demystify is very very important in that space. The other lesson that you would have learned from that, I don't know how many of you can remember. The last section in the previous video was saying for creative people like you. The first section in this video was saying, "Hey, creative people, this is what you can do." So you understand how these words. can start reinforcing even the persona people who are seeing this like hey amazon feels i'm creative like i can do this so you're motivating people and pulling them in and creating this nice warm space for them to get comfortable with something very very highly technical uh cool hope it makes sense uh the last video of the day i want to show you today is uh, exactly why some of you spoke about building loyalty community right Uh, so we created an influencer program as an extension of the Amazon Associates Network, where we got some people who are well known to create selected, curated lists on the Amazon website, and this really acted as a platform to inspire people, just to show them that you know, hey, I can also be like this, uh, achieve like this one day, and grow big uh, in 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 my uh, uh, affiliate journey. Hi, my name is Beth Lemonak, and I have a channel called Entertaining with Beth. And my channel is dedicated to giving people the simplest path to creating the most delicious recipes for friends and family. For me, it's not just about cooking and sharing delicious recipes; it's about sharing a lifestyle. And so much of that lifestyle is the dish that you serve the corn salad in, or the little salt shaker, or the cutting board that you use to cut the vegetables with. I think one of the cool things about the Amazon Influencer Program is the ability to have your own dedicated URL and kind of branded shop. I think people are now trained to know that I have products on the Amazon shop, and they'll come to me and they'll say, "Oh, I love this such and such. Is it in your Amazon shop?" I think the program is super easy to use. That's one of the things that I like about it. You can be anywhere on Amazon and click a product you like and put it in your shop. I think at the end of the day, as creators, we want to be helpful in the passion points that we're out there sharing. So lessons to learn from that video uh, is that again we started out as something very human. You saw that we showed her kitchen, her food. People will think like, "Oh man, I thought Amazon was all about technology and products." Like this is like real life. Like even I bake cookies in my house. Even I can be an affiliate program. partner by showcasing my cookie tools right and the second lesson you'll see how we made her speak about our product in the most simplest way take a link put it on your website create a store show your products so she actually took a tutorial of the process while just talking about her journey uh, so again some of the things i said early early on when i started make it human make it relatable make it happy like make it as a community feeling all together the last thing i want to cover today is uh, something i'm extremely proud and happy and again we'll dive really deep into this in the next session is hardcore content uh, pure content 
which went beyond just the affiliate program. You know, one of the things we figured out when we were doing research, understanding a customer was a lot of them don't even know how to build a website. Like, and literally, if you see the, the chat section right now, uh, Abhijay is asking, how can I make an affiliate page, right? Like, that's the number one question. What can I do? How do I start? And we realized that we should be building not for Amazon, but for the industry. We should be the thought leaders on educating customers on how does it take to get started. So, so that way, we are not fighting for the pie. We are growing the pie itself. And because we start their journey with Amazon, they tend to be loyal and stick to Amazon longer. Remember, growing that long tail was very, very important. And thus was born something called as the resource center. This was available through Amazon's associates dashboard as well as through public. And this really helped us optimize for SEO. So even when somebody was searching for, how do I become a blogger? Things like tips for new bloggers. How do I get started? Would actually land on Amazon Associated Resource Center and go like, damn, I didn't know that I can not just become a blogger, but I can make money off doing that, right? Things like, how do you even design your website? You know, what should I lay out? How can I make it pretty? Things like that. Things like, what do I need to do? Checklist. So we actually went around we started talking to our end customers. We started talking to people who were signing up for the first time. Uh, we did webinars. We did one-on-one -on -one sessions. We spoke to a sales team. So everything and anything we could do to create all sources for insights and create this beautiful resource center, which was at the core of our engagement program, uh, something that we'll cover in part two on this Saturday. Uh, that's it from my side. Uh, thank you for listening to me. Now uh, I'm going to open the floor for any Q&As before we close up. Also guys, we would be launching the poll uh, in the meanwhile. So you can ask the questions and also fill up the poll. Thanks. Hi, am I audible? Yes, I'm here. Hi. Hi. Uh, I have a question which is not directly related to um, the affiliate program as such, but uh, I just want to understand as a content creator or as, or as a person who's from a marketing background, what is the first mm -hmm. thing that a marketer sees in an affiliate platform? And what are those key things that we should keep in mind while uh, developing our affiliate platform? Uh, so, I mean, let, let me just reiterate this so that I understand this well. Uh, you mean to say, for you as an affiliate yourself, what? how do you see your own platform? Is that what you're asking? Or as a marketer promoting to the affiliates? What's the question? So, I have two parts to the question. One, as an affiliate, what does an affiliate have to do to get his or her platform noticed on the platform to any marketer? And the second part of the question is that as a marketer myself, I often, I am constantly looking for multiple people and partners to, you know, collaborate with, collaborate with for various projects. So what are the key things that we need to look at considering that for usual social media platforms, we do look at relevance of content, quality of content, engagement rate and everything else. So what is your recommendation on the same? Uh, yeah, you, you, you probably have to explain to me the second question again. I still am a loss, but I'll answer the first one uh, first. So as an affiliate yourself, right, uh, you don't really need to draw someone's attention. Uh, like I said, remember, like there is always a pipeline uh, and the, you need to get into that pipeline and you could either register to the platform that you have a high interest in or you could register on all platforms like Amazon, Flipkart, whatever it is that's out there, right? Uh, even global platforms like Etsy and others, whoever has affiliate channel and you think your content can earn money through their platform and just get in that pipeline. Once you're in, you start getting the marketeers, emails, notifications, marketing webinars, things like that, right? So make sure that you're in. Um, and second one, I'm going to take a shot anyway. You're saying as a marketeer, how do you engage with the audience? That, that's what your question is, just to understand. Uh, yeah, briefly, but like, what are those key things that a marketer should look on an affiliate platform 
uh, even before engaging with them? I think just the insights, right? Very, very important. Uh, now I, I'll tell you, I spent about two months time on just understanding what makes them happy. And that's not true only for affiliates. Like as a content marketer, that's true for any marketing platform. Like even in my role at Apple today, uh, I, I spend a lot of my time in just understanding what, what do my customers look for? Uh, when somebody buys an iPhone or an Android device, what are they thinking? Are they looking for a camera? Are they looking for a display size? Like, you know, what are they looking for a, a speed and performance? So I think understand the hidden inherent needs and then create content and have a marketing communication strategy around that. So in the affiliate world as well, um, my understanding was people want to make money, but they don't know how to. It was like, everybody wants to make money, right? Like, obviously, like this seems like an easy task. Uh, I can write a blog tomorrow about favorite bikes. and But how do I make money out of this, right? And the other thing was hand-holding. Uh, people who were like, you know, far away. And I remember working with publishers who were in remote villages outside of the UK. Uh, you know, they barely had internet access. And they were, uh, I remember actually meeting a guy. Uh, I was traveling out of London for work. And I met this guy. He was about 65 years old and he had a website reviewing lawn mowers for the past 12 years. And he makes a killing. I don't want to share numbers. He makes killing because he's the world's number one lawn mower reviewer on the world. Uh, and he has like nothing there, but he makes so much money on Amazon. So he needed hand holding. You know, like I'm so old. I don't, I just put my links there, but how do I get more people to come? Right. And that's where, as Amazon, we stepped in, we helped them optimize, we helped them promote, we helped them create banners. So understand the latent needs of your customers. Uh, obviously, think of them at scale. As a marketer, you can't solve for everybody. You need to solve at scale. So group these common activities together and, and, and figure out what's the best thing you can do to reach out to as many people as you can. Sure. Thank you. Anyone else? Just one last question. I'm sorry. No worries. Um, is it possible that an affiliate, uh, just to understand, does an affiliate have to create content about products or services available on the Amazon platform? Or can it also be about things which are not, you know, about products or brands which are currently not on Amazon, but they are still promoting it? Yeah, that's a really good question, Swami. And that's where, that's exactly where native shopping ads came into picture. Uh, uh, again, um, basically there are provisions within Amazon. See, Amazon has to do business one way or the other, right? And Amazon has products which you can embed on the website, something called as native shopping ads which looks at your content and gives the closest match to a product. So let's say, let's say you're reviewing uh, or you're writing a blog about the weather in Bangalore, example, right? Like today's weather is cloudy, tomorrow it's gonna rain and you put a blog post. Has nothing to do about product, like you can buy rain or clouds on Amazon, right? But you still put an Amazon affiliate native shopping ad in that space in your website. Next thing you will see is when it goes live, you will actually see umbrellas. You will see sunscreen, things that are relevant to your language that you use pop up, which people would still like to buy uh, or rain forecast or temperature, thing, whatever it is, right? Uh, so Amazon has that beauty, uh, which, which allows you to still make money one way or the other. But I have to say, the closer your match is to a product, the stronger your conversions are. So obviously somebody who's writing about uh, reviewing umbrellas versus somebody who's reviewing weather, the umbrella guy will make more money because people convert better via his website, his or her website. All right. And in terms of the uh, the reach or the search algorithm, this is relevant to the keywords that people use on the Amazon platform or is it relevant to what we generally use for Google ads and stuff? Uh, no, relevant to the ads on, uh, see again, like I said, the Amazon engine uh, uses the Amazon search engine as one of the inputs. Okay. Other inputs are much more technical. I mean, again, I don't want to go into details because of the nature of audience here, but that's just one of the inputs. 
just like Google, it also understands context. So it builds a complete comprehensive uh, logic and then gives the most relevant results around that. All right, thank you. Hi, Apoor, this is Sunanda. Can you hear yes. me? Yes, Sunanda. Yeah, so I just have a query. I, I actually blog about menswear and I have my own blog. So I just wanted to understand if I get to get a approval from Amazon, do I need a certain amount of monthly traffic or uh, how does it work? Or could I just, you know, uh, post links of certain products on my blog or I need a sort of a approval based on a, you know, a, a sort of a monthly traffic uh, for my blog. How does it work? Okay. Hey, Sandra, sorry, but this session is more about marketing. Uh, I, I'm going to refrain from answering any Amazon related questions here. Mm -hmm. So uh, please reach out to Amazon in their best place to help you make the best of your website. Okay. All right, no problem. Thank you. Cool. Uh, any, anything else? We'll have a, a minute more and then I'll have to log off. I think that is it, Apu. Uh, so great, guys. Thank you so much for joining in today. Thank you so much, Apu, for making time and joining in uh, with us. Uh, okay, guys, see you all on this uh, on this Saturday for the part two of this series. And yeah, stay safe, take care, and have a good night. Bye, guys. Thanks, Thank you, everyone. Uh, see you on Saturday uh, and take care. Goodbye. Great, guys. Bye-bye.